I got a great question uh, today for today's podcast, and uh, <laughs> this guy said, hey, Benji, all right, so he called me Benji first, and uh, please don't call me that. I'm not a dog. Uh, <laughs> started cracking up when I saw that, um, but he said, hey, Ben, uh, Benji, I, uh, I handed out over 500 flyers a couple weeks ago about a clinic that I was doing this month. And only three people showed up to my clinic. All right, we're going to get into this here in a second. Uh, remember this question because we're going to go very deep into flyers. Welcome to the Build My Sports Biz Show, where we talk about how to create, build, and scale your own local sports training business. Let's go. It's time to get started with your host, Ben Neighbors. The show starts right now. All right, so in the future, uh, if you reach out to me, <laughs> you can call me whatever you want. I was just playing earlier. Um, people have, have sent me uh, the, some really funny text messages in the past, and I'll, I'll be bringing those to light here on this channel. Uh, but we're, let's dig in this question here. So this coach... He grinded it out. He he put out 500 flyers uh, in his area, and three people showed up to his clinic. And um, I have created content on this channel in the past about flyers, about um, about why I don't like flyers. But I want to use this example here to show you how to do this the right way and how to do it the wrong way. All right. And let's give you a tangible example here first. So a couple of weeks ago, I was at a coffee shop, all right? And I'm there having my, my iced latte. I order it, I'm in there, I get on my laptop, I do a little bit of work, I finish my latte, I go back out to my car and I see a flyer on my car, all right? It's, it's like in between my windshield, all right, and my windshield wiper. <laughs> and the first thing that I that comes to mind, all right, when I see it is, all right, I'm gonna get that thing, I'm gonna crumple it up, I'm gonna get back to my office, I'm gonna set up my trash can, and I'm gonna shoot a Tim Duncan bank shot off the wall into the trash. I'm not gonna even read this thing, right? And here's why, it's because like, when someone puts something on my car or they're, they're trying to advertise in a way where like I'm not talking to them, then I don't respect the, the way they're marketing to me, all right? I want to talk to someone who's trying to sell something to me. I don't want to just like stumble across my car and, and be like, wow, this person was like touching my car. Like, no, I don't want to do that. And guess what? The way I think about it is probably the way 99.9% .9 of parents think about it too, right? They are not in the mode of being like, oh, I can't wait to see what this flyer is so I can, I can go sign up for this guy's camp. They're not thinking that way. All right, you are interrupting their day and you're making them do something. You're making them grab across their car, grab this thing, look at it. And most of the time, I, I would say, uh, you know, and this, this isn't uh, to bash a lot of coaches, but most coaches' flyers suck. They're not good, All right? It'll say like, one-on-one -on -one personal training, call me at this number. And there's like zero information. There's zero benefits. Uh, there's no website. There, there's nothing on it other than like a basketball and call for one-on-one -on -one training. Like that marketing does not work. It's not direct, right? So to go and put a bunch of flyers on people's cars and getting this type of result, three kids, I think that's great. Three kids is awesome, all right? But <laughs> uh, to have you know a full day spent of putting out a bunch of flyers, I would rather like if, if I would rather you go talk to people and give them the flyer. That is different than just like stuffing it you know, on their car and not talking to people because this is the thing that coaches avoid. Coaches avoid talking to parents because they're afraid of rejection, right? Now, if you go talk to 500 people about your clinic, right? And I have my calculator here because you know, I was pretty bad at math when I was in school. So I got this calculator here, but if you go talk to 500 people, in person and you give them the flyer and guess what they know your name they know what you look like uh, they know how you sound they know what you're looking to do in your clinic talk to 500 people at that same field right instead of just putting the flyers on 
All right. Let's say that. Uh, let's say that two percent of the people you speak to come to your clinic. All right. Times point two. All right. That would be ten. All right. Wait. Five hundred times point zero two. Yep, that'd be 10 people, which is seven better than what you did. Now, if you're charging $50 per kid, all right, then, you know, that's a pretty big difference there, all right? But if you talk to that many people and only 2% of people, like, sign up for it, then I would say you're, you're pretty bad at sales, right? I would think a lot more than 2% of people that are targeted would sign up for this if you're actually speaking to 500 people, right? And here's the difference. When you talk to someone, you can come away with their phone number. When you put out your flyer, you can, most of the time you come away with nothing, right? Because you're waiting for them to respond. And I hate marketing, you know, where I put something out and I'm waiting for someone to get back to me. I don't like that. I like to go get their number, right? Go get their number. You can follow up with them whenever you want. And as a business owner, that's going to be a huge asset in your business is contact information, right? I've talked about this for years on this channel, for years, right? And this is why instead of like dropping flyers, go talk to people and give them the flyer. That is way different, right? And if you go talk to people, you don't even really need a flyer. You can just get their phone number and say, yep, you know, I'm thinking about doing this clinic on this day at this time, like... If you give me your phone number, I can follow up with you. I can give you a call tomorrow with the registration details. Like there's so many different things you can do when you actually get outside your comfort zone and talk to people. But a lot of coaches, what they do is they hide behind the flyer and then they'll message me be like, Hey, I only got three people to come to this clinic. Well, you know, that I would say it's pretty normal. Like, you know, there's three people who responded to, to something out of 500 and you know, the 497 people who threw that thing away are like me, right? They're, they're, they don't want to be bothered, right? So I hope this helps. And as a coach, you need to think about your marketing, right? And every coach should know this. You're, you're not a coach, you're a marketer, right? You, you have to break the, the whatever comfort zone you're, you're living in right now to get away from just being a coach. You are a marketer. The best marketer wins, the worst marketer is always driven out of this business. I don't care how good of a coach they are. I don't care how good of a coach you are. You could be the best coach in the world. If no one knows about you, you can't train anybody. All right, period. You can't train anyone unless you are a good marketer. And I wouldn't say good. I would say great marketer. That's something every coach can learn. Scroll through my YouTube videos. Scroll through my podcast. That's like essentially what this whole uh, thing is, all right? I talk about marketing all the time. So the information's out there. Uh, if you feel like you need more one-on-one -on -one help though, right? I have very easy way to get in touch with me. All right, shoot me a text right here. All right, Monday through Friday, I'm available. Shoot me a text. Uh, don't text me on the weekend. I'm, I'm not gonna be around. Uh, I am a ghost on the weekend. Uh, but that is it for today's video. And uh, if you wanna get on my newsletter, like I talked about, all right, Go up here, buildmysportsbiz.com, all right? It's a very easy website to remember, but you can see all those links uh, below this video in the description. Um, you just go to my website, go to the bottom of the page, of the homepage, join my newsletter. Um, you're gonna get more tips, more strategies there. Um, and this is really cool. So I wanna talk about this before I go. I got an email from a coach the other day. He's been on my newsletter for three years, all right? He's read, like, and I went through to verify this. He's read 100% of the emails I've sent, right? He has paid $0 to me, right? Zero, zero dollars he has given me. Because he's committed to my newsletter and he has taken action on my newsletter, he, he sent me a, an email the other day. He said, Ben, I made, it's my first year, I made over $100,000 in my business, and he was like, I've, I've read every single newsletter. I've implemented a lot of what you, you teach there. So guess what, all right? There's over $100,000 worth of information on my newsletter, it's free. Uh, you're not required to pay me anything. The only thing that I would want you to do is take action on the information because I know when it helps you, all right, your business is gonna do better. 
Same way with these videos. Like, if you just watch my videos or you listen to my podcast and you sit around and don't do anything, well, it's not gonna help you. Like, I'd rather you not watch, <laughs> right? So take action, like go execute. Otherwise, any information is not gonna help you. All right, that's it for today's video. Hopefully this helps guys and um, stop posting flyers. Go talk to people, all right? Be a better marketer, period, all right? See you later.